All right guys, it's a new day here. Uh, we got done changing the battery the other day and now after changing the battery and we did the BMS uh, body control module reset, it actually adjusted the auto stop start again on the truck. So I'm gonna take you in with Forescan and show you how to shut it off. But if you're curious what auto stop start looks like when you're driving, watch it right here. Watch the RPM gauge. Mm, man, and that's exactly what it does. It's kind of annoying. Also, I'm sure it's not good for the uh, the starter's life, but also it's harder on the cam phaser, so on and so forth. And being a 13th generation F-150 or second gen Raptor, we don't want that. Cam phaser's already a known issue, so I'm gonna take you into four scan to show you how to shut that off. We're gonna kill the auto stop start function again, and I'm gonna show you how to clear the adaptive uh, tables for the transmission, because it's about every Maybe 10 to 15,000 miles, it starts acting up just a little bit, getting kind of a little wonky. Second, six, seven, somewhere around there, those gears are getting a little weird, but I'm gonna show you how to take care of it in foreskin. Because you're gonna have the key forward a lot for a lot of these procedures, I suggest you put on a battery charger so you don't drain it so much that you won't be able to charge it. Even though it's brand new, we wanna make sure we're charged up nice and good for these procedures. All right. With Forescan on, we have our activation key loaded up. I'm not going to walk you through that part, guys. You need to YouTube that or Google that part. Just setting up the application on your computer, getting a license key. It's all very easy. It's cheap. It's actually free. The license key in the program. The only thing you have to pay for is the actual plug-in. And you can get those easily on Amazon or eBay. I think I paid $22 for mine on Amazon. So it's pretty cheap. But with it all hooked up, in the vehicle and everything, we're going to go to the connection tab down here on the bottom left. We're gonna hit connect to vehicle. We're gonna make sure we're in the HS cam position. So, yep, we are in the HS. So we will hit okay. It's going to check, oh, need to hit key forward so it can communicate with the vehicle. There we go. Profile, yep. We already have a profile set up for the Raptor. There you go. I'm going to turn off the blower so we don't kill more of the battery power. Vehicle may contain Raptor. Yes, it has HSMS. Please switch to MS. Okay. There we go. It's just reading all the modules in the the truck, communicating with them, making sure they're all good. Go to the wrench. Go to the wrench, and let's see, TCM, clear transmission adaptive tables. So this is the big one. We're going to hit play. This functional clear transmission adaptive table. So basically it is where the computer learns bad behaviors. It is co-designed with GM, and apparently these 10 speed transmissions in the GM vehicles don't have the same issue because they have the proper programming, I guess. Ford built the transmissions, but GM programmed them and basically left out good learning behavior. Sounds like it was a dirty trick on GM's part, but what we're gonna do is go ahead and clear this. We're gonna switch to HS. There we go. And we'll hit OK. And then that little play button down here, you can see the blue bar loading, it's at 4%. Service procedure completed successfully. All right. So that being said, we have done that. Now what we need to look for, you can halt the adaptive learning table. I tried that one time and to me it was not, uh, it was not that good. I didn't like it. But what we're looking for now is the auto stop start function. I totally realized too by going in here, uh, how I actually reset the auto stop start function. It's not by changing the battery, it's because I did the body control module reset. So it basically reset it back to factory and that's fine. But you go in here to body control module configuration. We're gonna hit play and we're going to switch it to HS. There we go. And then we're going to hit okay. It reads all of the blocks inside. And this one has a lot of the features that basically, uh, a lot of features that you're gonna like inside your vehicle. So like a jar color, I switched it to four green. So whenever your doors are open, instead of being red for oncoming traffic, it's green. And 
I mean, I don't plan on being on the side of the highway a whole lot, but that's up to you. You can switch it to any of the colors in the ambient mode if you have a 2017. Um, but in here is where the auto stop start function is. Let's find it real quick. Okay, once you're in here, the body control module section, you're gonna find edit selected. We're gonna hit disabled like that. And then we have to write it to the computer. So we'll hit write. And it is declaring from the old value was enabled. The new value now is disabled. You'll see procedure complete. The computer just flashed, blocks program successfully. Cycle ignition off and then back on. We'll hit OK. Go ahead and stop procedure. And then we can go back up here and we can hit disconnect. There we go. Alright, now that we've got the hood closed, the battery charging system off there, let's go ahead and take it for a test drive and see how that adaptive table reset is. Yeah, I changed that too, so. That'll be coming up in the next video. Follow if you want to see how to change it to that permanently. <laughs> All right, so the auto stop start function, it still illuminates, but when driving, it no longer uh, functions. So it just sits there and idles the way you want it to, which is perfect, it's exactly what we want. We're gonna go ahead and give her a drive though. Buttery smooth transmission shifts. This is exactly what we wanted. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate all the love and support. If you enjoyed this content, if you want to stick around and see how to change your splash screen to something permanent, which is really cool because there's the Lincoln option, there's the GT option, like the GT40, you can change it to that permanently. Also the GT350, which you just saw in there. Uh, I got some other goodies like that coming up on the channel here real soon. But yeah, if you guys want to see how to do that, make sure to uh, like, subscribe, and stick around because more is coming. I've also got some more LED lights. Thank you guys so much for the love and support, and can't wait to see you guys in the next one.